Okay, very last video. You picked Corral. This is the place to be. If you did not, um, then go back to the other two videos. So we're going to do kind of the similar process if you watched one of the other videos with the right hand. Since we're playing chords in different inversions, um, what we're going to do is roll the chords from uh, bottom to top to get those notes right. If it helps you at all, I would take a look through, and um, I can't highlight in front of you right now, but check out the different inversions. So we have root chords, first and second inversions that we've talked about before, probably a very long time ago. But what I want to you guys to do, if it helps you, is to figure out first what chord you have, and then what inversion you have. So for the first um, four beats, we have G, C, and E. We take that and arrange it around. We have C, E, G, we find that's our root position chord. So this is a C major chord in second inversion because the very top note in root position is now our bottom note, okay? This is a little bit confusing. Feel free to reach out uh, for help with me, but this is an easy way to recognize um, different chords and their inversions. Just go through and figure out what exactly is going on. Okay, um, so we're going to roll from bottom to top, and then once we play the chord, if it happens again, we'll just play it as it's normally written. So, for the first measure, measure G, C, E, oh, and then we have that three more times. Now we have a new chord, G, E, D, which is just a G major first inversion. Now, our next in measure three, E, A, C, which is going to be A minor in second inversion. Three, four, now E, G, B, which is E minor group position. In measure five, C, F, A, which is F major in second inversion. Three, four, now C. C major root position, G, C, E, same chord. We have a different root, it's in second inversion. And then the next measure, G, B, D, G major root position. And then last measure, E, G, C. C major, first inversion. Okay, good. If it helps for you to recognize those as chords, that would be helpful. Um, if you're already pretty experienced with um, or it can read really well, um, then this probably won't be quite as helpful, but those are some tricks to kind of help with those big chords. So now let's just sight read the left hand. It's pretty com or not complicated at all. It's just one note at a time. So we're just going to sight read as is. So one, two, ready, go. Switch your finger five, one, and way down the five, and then two for this last one, I would suggest. Okay. All right. With that in mind, go through, write in everything that you need to and practice, and then go ahead and hit pause in this video. If you want to play along with someone in a kind of a slow-ish tempo so that you can see how it's going, then come back and hit play when you're ready. Okay, if you've hit play, then let's go ahead and start from the beginning, kind of a slow tempo. If you have a pedal, use it, but make sure that you lift it whenever they ask you to. So whenever you see those little um, little arrows pointing up, that means lift your pedal. Okay, so let's go about one, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. Three, four, one, two, 
Good. Okay. So I hope that that gives you uh, a sense of where you're at at this time in terms of how uh, comfortable you feel with the piece and that you can keep regressing from here um, in terms of practicing. So uh, with that being said, I'm looking forward to seeing these and have a great week.